Hello, thank you for joining me on my second uh, YouTube video. On this video, I'm going to focus on uh, some products that are inspired by the TV series called Severance. Have you ever watched a TV series and you said, oh, I want most of those uh, props in my daily life? Uh, for me, uh, Severance was that one. Uh, but the problem is, uh, for most of the TV series, you can buy the products in the market. But for uh, this uh, show, they uh, custom made all of the products and they are mostly one of a kind. So you cannot find them online or buy them for your daily life. So I decided to take some of my uh, workstation products and uh, transform them to uh, severance inspired products. In this video, I'm going to show you four products that I designed. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to share the links to them and show you how to make them. So you can have your own versions of those products as well. Let's get going. Um, okay, so for the first product, uh, let's uh, start with a simpler one. It doesn't need any assembly. Uh, the product that I designed was inspired by the access key cards that they had on the show. Um, so I wanted to make something a little bit more useful. So I decided to go with a, a card holder or a wallet. Uh, I went through uh, different versions of the product. You can see like uh, here I tried multicolor printing and this is just a different color. Uh, and with the final design, I have two versions of the product. One is just a MagSafe wallet. So you can have it on your iPhone directly or on a, any case that have MagSafe. Uh, and the second version is uh, a lanyard version. So it doesn't have the magnets. Uh, you can just uh, wear it around your neck or anything like that. Uh, the links for both of them are available in the description and you can decide whichever uh, fits you best uh, to print that one. Yeah. Uh, so the next product is going to be something that I use a lot uh, during my workday. It's an, a speaker. So uh, this one was mostly copied, not inspired by the speaker system that they have on the show, uh, the, the product that uh, they use to make the calls with, with the board. So basically I took that product, uh, I, I designed it and uh, it's a two part uh, product. You, uh, the part that is the enclosure you can use a scrap a speaker that you have at home that's what i did because i'm not very good with electronics but if you're good you can just use larger speakers and and make modifications to the design and the other piece is just a grill you can have this in different colors but i i selected the navy color that was on the show and i'm very happy with it and the speaker actually sounds a lot better than it looks Uh, so the next product is uh, definitely one of the more challenging ones in terms of the design and the fit and, and the testing process uh, because it had many components. Uh, this product was uh, inspired by the, uh, the terminal computers that they had at the workstations on the show. And I wanted to transform that to an iPhone stand that is also a charger uh, with a MagSafe, very similar to the product that I designed in my uh, previous video. So this is the uh, final design that I have. Um, I definitely went through multiple uh, iteration of this product. Um, one of the main things was actually I wanted to have these knobs adjustable so you can have different angles for the system. Uh, but uh, the issue was uh, balancing the counterweight of the phone on the front and uh, the back of the system without having it fall down. So I ended up uh, going with a fixed system uh, to make that simpler. Uh, the back is weight uh, counterweighted and also the base is a heavier uh, product. You need to use a different print setting for this one, which is already included in the, in the files that I'm sharing with you at the end of the video. And the front uh, part is a removable part and it is also adjustable based on um, the version of the iPhone you have uh, or if you want to have a phone with case or without a case basically you can just reprint this if you upgrade your phone or change your phone you don't need to uh, print the whole uh, system basically yeah It's time for the last one and the most exciting one for me. You might like the other ones better, but I like this one a lot. It's a transition kit for 
uh, magic keyboard and magic trackpad uh, that comes with with your Mac so basically you can insert your magic uh, keyboard here and as you can see on the assembly video you can add the keycaps and everything and it basically transitions your magic keyboard uh, to a mechanical keyboard which is very nice and it works very well uh, there's also a version for the magic trackpad um, basically you insert your magic trackpad into this kit and it makes it very similar to what they use on the show uh, I have made uh, two versions of this one is the one I showed you that has uh, the magic keyboard and the trackpad as separate components but there's a combined one as well I use that one uh, because it's it's a cleaner design but you might not have the trackpad so you can just download uh, the keyboard version of that one With that out of the way, you can see how all of these products uh, work together on my workstation. Uh, I use all of them on a daily basis and I really like them, but you guys might like one or all of them. So based on your preference, you can download the ones that you like. The link for each of them are uh, available separately, so you can download the ones that you want. And in case you uh, print them, make sure uh, to tag me on, uh, on the photos that you share on social media so I can reshare them. and. I feel the support for it. Uh, thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. This uh, project was a lot more challenging compared to the previous one. There were four designs and there were a lot more trial and error. Uh, let me know if you like uh, the way that I showed the process on this one or if you want to see something more on the next video. I have multiple ideas that I'm working on right now and I will be making videos on those ones very soon. So I will appreciate uh, your feedback on the, uh, on the process. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe.